Hi guys, welcome back to our course on NumPy. In our last lecture, we covered the difference between copy and view. And today we are gonna learn about the array shape. So let's get started. So the first question is, what is array shape in NumPy? So the shape of array represents the number of elements present in each dimension. Now the next question arises in our mind is how to get the shape of an array. So we can use the array attribute called shape to get the shape of an array. So the result is a tuple which each index having the number of respective elements. Now let's move on to the code. So let me just write Python 3 and hit enter. Now I'm going to import numpy as np and hit enter so now let's start with a zero dimensional array a zero dimensional array is a scalar so i'm gonna write arr zero or array name is equal to np dot array and in bracket i'm gonna write a scalar this time i'm not gonna pass a tuple so now i'm gonna print ARR 0 sorry I need to rectify it ARR 0 and hit enter so I got the scalar as result now I'm gonna print ARR 0 dot shape so it returns me an empty tuple so it doesn't have any dimension so it is a 0d array so now let's move on to 1D array. So I'm going to create a 1D array first. So array name ARR1 is equal to np.array. And this time I'm going to pass a tuple. So the values from 1 to 9 constitute the tuple. Now I'm going to print the array. And I'm going to print its shape since it is a 1d array it has one dimension and the number of elements in that dimension is 9 so now let's move on to a two dimensional array so first I'm going to create a 2d array so arr of 2 or array name is equal to np dot array this time i'm gonna pass two 1d arrays because we know that in a 2d array or matrix the elements are 1d arrays so i've passed the elements now let me print arr2 and now i'm gonna print its shape so print arr2 dot shape so it has two dimension the number of elements in first dimension are two and in second dimension are four it is other way of saying that number of rows are two and number of columns are four now moving on to a 3d array let's create a 3d array So the elements of a 3D array are 2D arrays. So we have to create a 3D array accordingly. So I've created a 3D array. Now I'm gonna print array and I'm gonna print the shape of the array. So print ERR three dot shape. 
so it's showing me list object has no attribute shape so let me just do it again there's an error so it's an attribute error so let me just create a 3d array again so let's try again this is the basic thing when you fail you have to try again just don't give up so arr3 let's name it arr3 new r3 new so arr3 new is equal to np dot array and now i'm gonna pass 2d arrays So I've created a 3D array, a new 3D array from scratch again. And now I'm gonna print ARR3 new dot shape. Now I'm gonna hit enter. So this has three dimension and the number of elements in respective dimension are two two and three so this is the optimized or the exact or the correct output now i have got an assignment for you you have to create a 4d array and you have to print and you have to print the shape of that 4D array. You can also create a 4D array using endime method as we discussed. So in today's lecture, we covered array shape, the attribute shape, and we calculated shape of 0D, 1D, 2D, and 3D arrays respectively. That's all for today. This video is brought to you by Programming Knowledge. Please like, comment, share, Subscribe and hit the bell button for updates and stay tuned with us for more sessions. Thank you.